Hey, what's going on, Card Pack? Today we are going to be looking at the top 10 basketball cards that went up the most over the last week. As usual, there are some telling things from looking at this list. Uh, so we'll dive into that in a second. A few reminders. First of all, if you want the audios from these videos, check out the podcast link in description. As we go through this uh, video on the cards, I'll probably do buy, sell, hold on them. Uh, the ones I consider buys, I'll typically send out to the Card Pack newsletter before I publish this video. It's free to join. Check it out. And if you want to get my top sports card pick of the day, join the Sports Card Society. It's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. There's a membership area. You log into it. I publish a new video almost every day. The video is usually about five minutes long. I show the card. I show the data and research as to why I like it. And what do I plan on doing with it? Am I selling it in a month? Am I holding it long term? What am I doing? Some previous examples are this Kyler Murray here. We're getting it for under 200 in February. And here it is going for 325, 350 in April. That's a pretty good game. Baker Mayfield, 295 on March 9th, around 500 in April, the next month, month and a half. Pretty good game. I mean, if all you did is buy this Baker, this would more than pay for your entire year's membership of the Sports Car Society. Like I said, it's only $12.99 a month or $129 a year. It's like 40 cents a day. Plus, you get access to a private Discord group, which is one of the best Discords in all of sports card investing because the people in it are active. They actually pay to be in it. They take this stuff much more seriously than your average Discord, no doubt about it. And, I wonder, and they help each other out. It's wonderful. Check it out, sportscardsociety.com. Link in description. All right, here we are. In the Market Movers tool, we went to Price Movements by Card, pulled up basketball in the grade PSA 10 over the last seven days. As you can see here, Zion Williamson is 2019 Prism draft picks. Popped kind of 1643, 15 sales of that card in the week. Went up about 48%. But let's take a look at it. Let's take a closer look at let's look at the chart. Because sometimes the charts will be deceiving when you just look at the number. You gotta look at the lines, baby. You gotta look at the lines. See between the lines? Yeah, that's what you gotta do. $76 to start the week, high sale of 119, latest sale of 112 with a sale of 114 before it. So that tells me this car is probably worth somewhere around 115 to 120 at the moment. Looks like this car has been pretty flat overall over the last 90 days. Uh, you know, here it was 90 days ago at 90 bucks. Here it is at 112, you know, so a gain of 24%. Um... I, if it were to continue that, that'd be good. But, you know, Zion hurt his finger. He's done for the season. Pelicans ain't got much left anyways. They weren't going to make a play-in game. I don't know if right now is the right time to buy a card like this. So I would be a, I'd probably be a hold on this card. And this is the one where he's in his college jersey. Not his regular prism, his college jersey one. Um, Yeah. Uh, by the way, I really want to get to 5,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button, homie, if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell while you're at it, and of course, because you're awesome and it just makes me feel good, hit that like button. Thank you. Card Pack, you're fantastic. Uh, next on the list, John Morant, 2019 Mosaic NBA debut. Huh. Pop count of 1875. If you don't know what pop count means, that means a card. A specific card in a specific grade that's how many of them exist currently so there's pop counts PSA 9s PSA 8s SGC 10s BGS 9.5s all of it baby anyways this card has gone up 47% on the week eight sales of it let's chart it let's read between the lines $41 to start the week, went up to $69, latest sale of almost $70. It's interesting. Maybe a little bump because, uh, you know, Grizz are in the play-in. Ooh, they dropped down to 9 huh? Ooh, you guys are cutting it close, but they'll be in there. They were they were holding out 8 for quite a while, but boy, the Lakers, huh? Now they're in a play-in spot. Oh, my, oh, my. And they're a game and a half back. Um... It's not like, you know, just win. They got to win at least two games to the Blazers losing to. Cause they have to because the Trailblazers have tiebreaker with them. So literally that's what's got to happen for them to get the sixth spot back. They need the Blazers to lose two and the Lakers got to win two. And then they need to maintain that. Maintain that uh, uh, win-loss record anyways. So, meh. 
Uh, I don't think... Well, you know, let's, I didn't pull back 90 days, did I? Crap, let me pull back up. Let's pull back 90 days, see what we're looking at. But I just, I don't see a whole lot of opportunity in this card necessarily right at this moment either. It's been pretty flat. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good card. It's the NBA debut, though. It's not the actual mosaic mosaic. It's been pretty flat. For 90 days, when you read between the lines, look at that dotted line. It's kind of, I don't think it goes much lower than this. It's held that for 90 days, but that can be, you know, grounds to going down to another support level too. Marvin Bagley 3, 2018, or Bagley a third, excuse me, 2018 Prism. Pop count of 21, 22, up 43% on the week with 14 sales of the card. By the way, this tool I'm using here, it's the Market Movers tool. Um, link for it is in the description. Use code SOCIETY. For 20% off your first month of your first year. This is seriously the most important thing I use in sports card investing. It it there's I don't even understand how people could possibly do sports card investing without it. It doesn't they they can't. They can't do it as well as they can do it with this. That's all I got. It's it's very important. I use it in every video and there's a reason for it. Um but this card started the week at forty three dollars, ended the week at sixty six dollars. Yeah, the link is in the description with the discount code. Marvin Bagley, Marvin Bagley, Marvin Bagley. Let's see here. Let's pull this one back 90 days. I don't know if it's the right, it's the right time to really buy some, someone on the Kings because they're not making, right? They're, yeah, they're, they're not getting in anywhere either. This card's been overall down. You can tell by the dotted line, and I agree with it. Because you can see up, down, up, down, down, up. And I don't think it's going to exactly soar. I think it's going to come back down to probably around here. This might be the support. About forty, probably about forty bucks. I think mean, you can bank, you can pretty much bank on it being the support. Um, if you don't know what I mean by support, when you read charts, there's supports and resistance. Supports are where it, it's like the fl a floor, like you stand on a floor, it's holding you up. So that's literally like there's a price point where the sellers say we just we are not going to sell this card for less than this. Nope, not going to do it. That's the support, and the uh, and the. Resistance is when a card's going up and it just can't get over a certain price. That's because the buyers are whole, pulling it down saying, no, we will not pay more than that. Enough buyers are saying we won't pay that much. And it gets really run up by people saying, oh, I got to get it. Oh, I got to get it. Oh, I got to get it. Oh, I get it. Got to get it. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's support and resistance. Very important. By the way, if you want to learn more about reading charts, which is very, very important, um, Get the Delta Factor. I put a link for that in the description. It's a course I made um, teaching you how to read charts better, find buy signals, undervalued cards, and really get more out of them. Check it out. Link is in the description. Plus, you get a couple bonuses. You get a month free of the society, and you get uh, a whole year access to the Discord. Uh, link in the description. Let's see. Marvin Bagley. I don't think I'd be buying this. I don't think there's any reason to buy that right now. I'd hold it. Next on the list, Michael Jordan. Now, this might be a little different. Pop count of 2792, 35.7% up on the week with 15 sales. So, about half a percent of the supply sold over the course of a week. What I mean is 15 divided by, we'll call it 3,000, would be about half a percent, maybe 0.6 of, of a percent. That matters because that, that tells you about volume. You know, I said, how many sales did I say? About 15. Now, if there were only a thousand of uh, 100 of those cards, 15 of them selling, 15% of them selling in a week, that volume would be insane. So um, typically, if you see something over 1%, it's 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 moving quite a bit. It's probably a minimum pop count to pay to pay attention to that. But yeah, um, it's Michael. Um, I think you've heard of him. 225 to start the week had a high sale of 325, latest sale of 262. I would guess that, yeah, about 240, 250 is its support over the seven days. But let's pull back 90 days and see what the charts show us. This card was up here in February at almost 500 bucks. Uh, this is probably during the vintage legend run up of February, January, February 2021. <laughs> name it like it's a hurricane or something. We'll have to come up with a name for it. We should, Those moments when things run up like that, we should have names to them like storms or, well, run-ups. But anyways, 
Um, and then this card went up, it went down all the way down to 335 from pretty much 500. And then it jumped here in early ish March and it went back up to about 434.50 and then it went down. I mean, it's 434.50 for like a good week and then it went down to looks like 270 by the beginning of April, which is about three weeks later. And now it's sitting at 42% off of the $500 high. You know, so now it's 40% less. That's really on sale. Um, that's That seems like a good place to buy for someone like Michael Jordan. Because when cards go on a run-up, typically they'll go down around 40 to 60%. And you can bank, you can pretty much bank on, I do. I, I, I pretty much find very, very commonly their supports end up being somewhere in that 40 to 60 uh, percent range, you know what I mean? So if the cards went up, had a run up, went to a thousand bucks, uh, when it gets to like 600 to 400, I think that it's probably going to fall in there if they had a good run up. And then hang, especially if the player is, you know, legit. The more legit, the less the drop. Michael Jordan's is legit as they come. Do we agree? Give me a yes. Say yes. Shake your head. That's right. <laughs> Now, to end the week here, like I said, it went down to 262. So like I said, when it hit down here at 270, I said that's 42% off. It didn't really go much lower than that. It kind of hung out around 275. And now we had a few little dips here, but it quickly, see how it quickly each time bounces back up real quick. It's just there's an outlier of a sale where someone just listed it too low. And then the next sale is back to normal. And same thing with the next one. It says... 240 all of a sudden it went down 50 bucks when it just didn't need to so sometimes people just accidentally list it too low it's just some this is the way the market is the people the sellers some people just want it to sell right away and they list it at a very attractive price just some people do and they go quick here's at 325 and then here is at 262 so it seems like an, a pattern going down but you can see each of these dips the lows are higher than the last so we're getting higher highs and lower low and lower lows. Interesting. That's a we this sale up here, I'm not counting it. I think it's some kind of strange outlier where someone this is just ridiculous. Someone just massively overpaid. And I can't I can't count this piece of data. It's too far beyond the standard deviation, I think is what it would be. So, you know, here we are around 300, 290. It kind of goes down a bit, down up, down, up, down. Up. Now it's going going back up. So I think I'd be a buy on this card. I think I'd be a buy on this card. Yeah, it's Michael. And I think I don't think his card's going any lower than this. And I don't know when it's going to go up next, but it's going to go up. It's Michael. Right? You agree? Let's go to eBay, though, and see what we can find for sale. 62 of them. See what we can find. So we think it should be somewhere around 270. 3 can't find one under 350 at the buy it now So I think uh, people are, are keen to it. Maybe an auction is the way to go for something like that. But yeah, if you get that for under 300, I think I'd dig it. Next, LeBron James. Dang it. I always forget to do this. Because now Mark Movers sorts it by the top 25. And I, I'm not used to that. I'm still not used to it. So I got to switch it to 10. Anyways, every time. LeBron James, 2018 Optic Base, popped down to 1466, up 32% with eight sales on the week. So it's over half a percent. That's that's something. This is his Optic Lakers rookie. Lakers Optic rookie? I'm not sure which way would describe that better. Um, You know. 86 bucks to start the week, end of the week at 113. Like I said, pop count of only 1466. Let's pull it back 90 days. I'm surprised there wasn't a little more. That just kind of shows there's not a whole lot of volume of it this week. Why would there be? Lakers kind of down. This card overall has been going down over the last 90 days. I just, I think the Lakers get a playoff spot. But I don't know if they're going to be healthy enough. Is LeBron going to be healthy enough to, to really get in there? I don't know. I don't know. But it is low. Um, if I bought LeBron, 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably have to hold that one. Next on the list, Bam out of Bio, 2017 Prism Silver Pop, count of 419. Seven sales on the week, up 27.5%. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. Almost 2% sales on the week. I think I kind of get this one. Let's see here. Start of the week at 510. Next uh, latest sale is 643. Let's pull it back. 90 days, especially it's only especially since only got a pop count of 419. Bam out of bio, I feel like, has really kind of broken out this year. I feel like he's played really well. I feel like he's definitely stepped it up and this has been the best year of his career. 800 bucks here we were in uh, on 9th of February, and this has kind of been going down ever since. Apparently, there was a big dip here between 429 and 430. I don't know what happened. 510. 500 yen latest sale 643. Hmm. I'd definitely be holding that. I would not be selling. Maybe buy it. I understand a buy. Because the Heat are. Are they four? Oh no, they're down to six now. Okay. Nonetheless, formative team. Uh, next on the list, Kobe Bryant, 2019 Prism Pop, kind of 12.48, up 25% on the week with 20 sales of the card. So we're we're pushing, you know, well, we're over one and a half percent volume. Kobe next week has the his the Hall of Fame ceremony going on next week. I think it's next Saturday. This card started the week at 109, went up to 178, and has come down to 135, which is still quite a nice gain from where it started the week. Let's pull it back. Let's pull back 30 days and take a look here. Interesting. So it went down and now it's kind of showing signs of going up. Let's pull back 90 days. It's kind of just been going up, huh? Look at that. Interesting over the last 90 days. It takes an interesting pattern, but looks like we're on a swing up is what it looks like to me. And that makes sense. That just makes sense. Would I buy right now? Probably not. But I'd be keeping my eyes open to when to sell. Because the ceremony next week, it's going to make some things hot and heavy probably. Next on the list, Kobe White 2019 Prism. Pop count of 7,180. 23.5% up with 37 sales on the week. So that's about half a percent. Kobe White, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Frankly, there's just I'm just not buying Kobe White. What's up, Kobe? I have some Kobe White, but... <laughs> I, I don't know. It's uh, I need to sell it. Fifty-five dollars start the week, end of the week at sixty-four. Let's pull it back ninety days. Please hit that like button if you're still watching, and subscribe if you have not. I want to get to five thousand. Support the channel, baby. So this card's been doing nothing but going down over ninety days. Has a little hiccup here going up. Not interested. Maybe even sell it. Or hold it till next season. Pray hold it till next season. Luka Doncic, 2018 Prism Freshman Phenoms. Pop count of 1589, up 21% on the week with nine sales. So well under 1%. Hundred fifty five bucks to start the week, high sale two forty five. I don't know about that. Latest sale one sixty. I think the two forty five is a too much of an outlier doesn't make sense pop counts not that low that someone would just be stupid enough to overpay like that something fishy yeah this card's been pretty flat i'm not interested luca i think he's gonna do good i just don't know if i want to buy that card rui hachimura 2019 optic pop count of 783 it's a pretty low pop count up 19 percent on the week with eight sales so about one percent sales volume Forty bucks to start the week, forty-five to end the week. I, I'm done. I'm not interested in Rui. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not interested. Wizards um, ain't going anywhere. And he is the end of the list. But nonetheless, you see a lot of green going on here in the market. And I feel like, and I feel like the green numbers, the percentages, have been going up week to week. And I find that very interesting. What the playoffs will bring is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like button, join the society. 
Get my top pick every day, a link in description. Get this market movers tool. Don't cheat yourself. Help yourself do as well as possible in sports car investing. Get the tool, uh, market movers tool. Use the code SOCIETY for 20% off first month of your first year. If you want to help reading charts, check out the Delta Factor. But yeah, I see a lot of green going on. The playoffs are going to be interesting. All right, stay classy. You are fantastic. Thanks for spending time with me watching the video. Have a great one.